Hello friends, good morning. In today's period, we have to study the distribution. What is the meaning of distribution? What do you mean by distribution? What is the importance of distribution? What are the distribution channels? Okay, and what are the objectives of distribution? And also, what are the functions of distribution channels? All such things we have to consider here. Now, today we are going to understand the introductory information about the distribution. What do you mean by distribution? Now, in the word channel, owns its origin in the French word used for canal. Okay, channel was used for the canal. Try to understand. Channel means a pathway of transferring ownership to the end user through the middleman. What is the meaning of channel? Channel means a pathway of transferring ownership to the end user through the middleman. Though the distribution of industrial or consumer goods is the last step of marketing, although it is the last step of marketing, but it is an important phase. Try to understand. It is most important phase. The main aim of channel of distribution. What is the main aim is there? What is the main aim of the channel is there to deliver the goods, to deliver the services to the end user. In other words, goods moves from the manufacturer to ultimate users through channel of distribution. A channel of distribution for any product, a channel of distribution for any product, namely industrial goods or consumer goods is the route taken by the title of goods as they move from manufacturer to the end user. It means that whatever may be industrial goods or consumer goods are there, those goods should be reached up to the end user from the manufacturer. From the manufacturer should be reached to the consumer also. It is a link between producer and consumer. Distribution is nothing but a link between or channel is a link between producer and consumer. Distribution of product. Try to understand. Distribution of product is most important aspect of marketing. Before industrial revolution, production was made with the help of the hands on small size. Try to understand. Production was made in small size by considering demand for the product. But after industrial revolution, what happened? After industrial revolution, huge product is made with the help of machinery without considering the demand for the product. Therefore, age of marketing is wandered. Age of marketing is also become widened. Okay, the role of physical distribution management. Try to understand. The role of physical distribution management is increased for regular and continuous supply of products to the ultimate users in time and where they want wherever and whenever they want such type of a supply of the product should be made there and it should be possible and for that purpose also distribution channel is useful channel of distribution are con concerned try to understand channel of distributions are concerned with the physical distribution of goods and services don't forget it all it means that with the help of that physical uh, that channel channel of distribution with the help of the channel of distribution, what is possible? Physical distribution of goods and services is possible. Various distribution channels are used to transfer the product from the producer to the consumers or customers. In short, distribution channel is nothing but a distribution network. Don't forget at all. What is it? Distribution channel is nothing but a distribution network through which a producer puts his products in the hands of the consumer. Now, this is the meaning, this is the introductory part. Now, we have to understand the different definitions are also given by the different authors. According to W.J. Stanton, channel of distribution or trade channel, try to understand, channel of distribution or trade channel for a product is the route taken by the title of goods as they move from producer to the ultimate consumers or industrial user. This definition is given by the W.J. Stanton. Another definition is also given here by the Richards M. Clevert. Okay. 
that definition is also here the channel has been defined as the pipeline what is it it is a pipeline through which a product flows on its way to consumers the manufacturer puts his product into pipeline try to understand manufacturer puts his product into pipeline or marketing channel and the various marketing people move it along to the consumer as other end of the channel try to understand and this definition is also same uh, indicating the meaning okay now another definition is also there uh, what is it that definition also we have to understand uh, that is uh, according to john h harvard john h howard uh, that definition is also there marketing channel are the combination of marketing channel are the combinations of agencies through which the seller who is often do not necessarily the manufacturer markets his product ultimate user this definition is given by howard then another definition is also given here i am giving here n number of definitions for your understanding purpose with uh, reading the, those definitions definitely you will understand the meaning of marketing marketing channel okay according to richard uh, basrick okay uh, di distribution channel are distribution channels are system of economic institutions distribution channels are system of economic institutions through which a producer of goods delivers a producer of goods delivers them into the hands of their users it means that producers can deliver their goods into the hands of the users with the help of distribution channel okay then another definition is also given here by the macrekarth okay macrekarthi that definition is also there any sequence of institutions try to understand any sequence of institutions from the producer to the consumer including one or any number of middlemen one or any number of middlemen is called a channel of distribution this definition is given by macrethi okay then another definition is also there, there uh, which is a very very famous thinker famous marketing thinker that is dr philip kotler he has defined that channel of distribution is a set of intended organizations channel of distribution is a set of intended organization involved in the process of making product or services available for business users or consumers it means that whatever may be system is there whatever may be set is there that set provides product or services to the end users such type of a provide such type of such type of a channel such type of a system such type of a channel is also provide the product and services available for business users or consumers okay this definition is given by the dr philip kotler then another definition is also here according to american marketing association american marketing association the definition is that a market channel is a structure of intra company organization a market channel is a structure of intra company organization units and extra company agents and dealers wholesales and retails through which a commodity product or service is marketed this definition is given by american marketing association another definition is also given here according to candip and steel channel of distribution as a path traced in the direct or indirect transfer of ownership that is a direct or indirect transfer of ownership to the product as it moves from the producer to ultimate consumers or industrial users it means that that product can be moved from the producer to ultimate consumers or industrial users and that channel is called distribution channel okay and this definition is also according to the candip and steel it is concluded that what is concluded that it is concluded as a result of analysis of the definitions about definitions we have considered here number of definitions i, I am given i have given here and number of definitions are also there of the other thinkers but from those definitions we can analyze the definitions that analysis we can make that 
the distribution channel is a proceeds try to understand distribution channel proceeds the way from manufacturer to the ultimate users then it includes all middlemen assigning or assisting in transfer of products title it also include institutions banks railway institution com insurance companies and other organizations that do not play any part in sale process and selling and purchasing jobs and merely provides marketing services thus the distribution channel is a route for transfer of products right understand it is nothing but a route for transfer of product title in which those institutions only are included that assist in the act of title transfer and these deliver the products to ultimate users or industrial users without many without making any charge there upon okay now after studying these definitions and the meaning of the those definitions we have to understand what is the importance of distribution channel it means why distribution channels are essential there what is the importance of distribution channel in marketing that importance also we have to study here channel of distribution plays vital role in achieving the marketing objectives of organization such so type of a distribution channels are going to play such so type of a role okay uh, of achieving the marketing objectives of the organization though the manufacturer or producer create a value utility such so type of a manufacturer or producer are going to create value utility to the product or services the time and place utility are created try to understand the time and place utility are created by channel of distribution it creates or also it creates the value added to the most of the product try to understand with the help of such type of a channel of distribution such type of a value addition is also done there okay according to peter drucker the market and distribution channel are primary and more important try to understand according to the peter drucker also the distribution channels are primary and more important than the product the importance of emergence of the distribution channels may be explained as follow with the help of different points also we can explain the importance of distribution channel a uh, first point i would like to explain here as the importance distribution channel with the help of distribution channel creation of place utility is possible a distribution channel carry the product from manufacturer and put into the hands of the end users it means that such type of product can be carried from the manufacturer to the end users in short distribution channel creates place utility try to understand distribution channel creates place utility by making product available where consumers are required then creation of time utility with the help of distribution channel also that is possible it is a vital role of the distribution channel the distribution channel makes the product available to the consumers as and when they required it means that wherever and whenever consumer required that product that product should be made available there and it is possible with the help of the distribution channel and also it creates the time and utility try to understand it means that distribution channel creates time utility among the products the product may be useless try to understand what i am speaking the product may be useless if not reached in the marketplace within time that's why uh, such type of uh, a uh, distribution channels are useful for creation of time utility because with the help of distribution channel such type of product is available in the market such type of product is also available in the market okay then another thing is also there that is creation of ownership utility creation of ownership utility in the view point of marketing in the view point of marketing exchange of product refers to the transfer of ownership it means that when ownership can be created if transfer of ownership is there at that time such type of a transaction can be created and transfer of ownership right from one person to another person it is possible only when products are transferred from place of production to marketplace distribution channel creates ownership utility 
don't forget it all. Distribution channels create ownership utility by making available product in the market for which it is required. Okay, it means that with the help of distribution channel also, creation of ownership utility is also possible. That's why this distribution channel is also important. Then another point we have to understand there, regularity and continuity. Regularity and continuity in what? To the supply. The supply of product regularly and continuously in the market, that is possible only with the help of distribution channel. It overcomes the problems of eventual shortage of the product or artificial scarcity of product. It encourages production of those goods which are valued high and segmented flow of the product and services. It means that such type of regularity and continuity is also possible with the help of distribution channel. That's why such type of channels are important. Then storing or master reserve. Okay. Storing or mass reserve, it means the inventories of products are required to be held at all points in the distribution channel. Distribution channels make a stock of product in their warehouse. So to provide it consumers in time, that is possible. It also benefits to secure the fair. It also benefits to secure the fair price to the product. According to Hall M, the amount of goods, the amount of goods in inventory when intermediaries are used it less than the amount that must be held when intermediaries are not used. That's why storing or mass reserve is also possible with the help of a distribution channel. That's why such channels are important. Then another point I would like to explain here about the importance of distribution channel that is a price stabilization. The stabilization is also possible. Price stabilization is also possible. The distribution system controls the unnecessary price fluctuations. Don't forget it all. The distribution system controls the unnecessary price, uh, price fluctuations in the market. If there is a paucity of goods in market, distribution channel floated goods from the storage and vice versa. Thus, Price reduction and increases can be controlled. It means that such type of reductions and uh, increases also controlled with the help of distribution channel. Try to understand. It also balances the supply and demand. It means that distribution channel try to make balance between demand and supply. That's why price stabilization is also possible and Hence, distribution channels are essential. Then, communication of information is also possible. Communication of information means what? The information regarding goods. The information regarding goods and services can be communicated to the consumers with the help of distribution channel. Though communication, communication or communicating information is availability of goods. What about communication is there? about the availability of goods, features, durability, price of goods, etc. The doubts of customers can be solved. In this way, communication of information is also possible with the help of distribution channel. Then another point I would like to explain here, that is the proximity. Basically, basically try to understand, intermediaries are so closer to the consumers than the producer. They are more interacted with customers. Try to understand. It means that effective interaction is possible with the customers, with the intermediaries. It enables them to find out the find out and analyze the market needs and convey its producers through their orders and messages also. It means that with the help of orders and messages also, intermediaries can convey to the producers. They also calculate the information, try to understand. They also try to calculate the information useful to the consumers from the producers. That's why proximity is also possible with the help of the distribution channel. And last point I would like to explain here, that is a searching. Marketing system is an exchange process, try to understand. In this process, the buyers and sellers are searching for them, the matching sellers and buyers. 
the buyers want to search as to what is there for sale who is selling where at what price at what conditions etc on the other hand sellers want to search buyers want try to understand sellers want to search buyers wants and needs what are the buyers where are they when they are going to buy okay at what price at what conditions they want to buy etc distribution channel brings both the parties at one point try to understand with the help of distribution channel both parties can be brought out here at one point for their mutual benefit in this way uh, we can discuss we can explain the importance of distribution channel these nine points i have given here what are those first creation of place utility second creation of time utility third creation of ownership utility fourth regularity and community fifth storing or mass reserves next price stabilization next communication of information second last proximity and last that is possible searching and in this way with the help of these nine points we can understand the importance of distribution channel okay uh, this chart also going to express itself how channels are there only some channels i have given here in this chart with the help of this chart also what is the nature of distribution channel you can understand how mediators are there what type of mediators are also working there all such things you can understand with the help of this marketing channel now what are the types of distribution channels those types also we have to understand the main function of distribution channels try to understand the main function of distribution channels is to reaches the goods produced by the manufacturer to the real consumers it means that such type of goods or services can be reached from the manufacturer to the consumers okay uh, broadly these distribution channels are classified into two types distribution channel of consumable goods and distribution channel of industrial goods such type of channels are there according to the nature of goods it means that consumable product and industrial products according to such type of channels are there but in both the channels the intermediaries are same don't forget it all in case of consumable product or in case of consumable goods intermediaries are there and same intermediaries you will find in case of industrial products also now we have to study all these channels step by step first channel i have mentioned here manufacturer user or manufacturer consumer try to understand this channel then second channel is also there manufacturer mail order try to understand manufacturer mail order and user then next channel is also there manufacturer door to door salesman and users it means that intermediary is here salesman is intermediary uh, between manufacturer and users now another channel is also you can understand here manufacturer then manufacturer showrooms are also there definitely you will find in case of vehicles also such type of showrooms are there and such type of showroom facilities also made available at district level or state level also and then users such type of channel also you will find then manufacturers retailers and users it means that who is intermediary here retailer is intermediary it means that retailers can purchase the goods or product from the manufacturer and that goods and products are provided to the end user this channel is also there then another channel is also given uh, given here manufacturer wholesaler retailer and end user it means that wholesaler is added here it means that manufacturer sell the product to the wholesaler wholesaler sell the product to the retailer and retailer make available such type of product to the end users okay that's why this channel also you will find there then another channel also i have mentioned here manufacturers stockist or distribution distributor then semi wholesaler retailers and users then another channel also i have given here what is it manufacturer marketer distributor semi wholesaler retailer and user these are the intermediaries what are those marketers distributors semi wholesaler and retailers these four types of the intermediaries are working 
among the or between the manufacturer and users and such type of a channels also you will find then another example i have given here manufacturer sole selling agents distributor semi wholesaler retailer and user manufacturer sole selling agent distributor semi wholesaler retailer and user it means that here are four intermediaries working there among the or between the manufacturer and users in this way these are different types of the distribution channels you will find and you have to explain each and every channel in detail try to understand it means that such type of explanation also uh, that is available in the books of the marketing also and the, with the help of these points also you can explain the detail the types of the distribution channel okay thank you thank you very much